it's Lauren with New Media Rights. Today we're talking with Rami Ismail from Blam Beer, creator of Super Crate Box, Loof Dressers, and Radical Fishing. How are you doing, Rami? Hi, it's quite fine. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, about uh, what you do, who you are. <laughs> so oh, I'm um, I'm half of Dutch independent game studio of Blam Beer, and I do the business and development. Um, and yeah, like you said, um, uh, we created Super Great Box, Loot Rousers, and some other sort of ridiculous games. And I suppose that is kind of what we do. Um, the other half of the studio is uh, Jan Willem Neumann, but he can be here today, so that, that's that. Um, well, but yeah, no, <laughs> far away. Uh, so you say we, who's the other part of Lambeer? Uh, JW, we call him JW. He's uh, he does the game design, um, and basically what Flambeer is is me and JW fighting with each other all day, trying to like come to a sort of compromise or or a solution to things we disagree on, which is basically everything because we're sort of completely opposite people, opposite types of people. So, um, in a nutshell, Flambeer is me and JW arguing about stuff and then making games. All right, well, how did you two uh, get together to team up to make Blambeer? Did you meet in college, or did you, how did you come together? Yeah, we, we met in, um, in the university. We both attended uh, Game Design University, and um, somewhere in the second year of university, we got kind of fed up with them. So we decided to make a break for it and make a game and then start our company. Um, so that was basically what we did. We created Radical Fishing. Uh, JW had a, had a little prototype that was called um, Crates from Hell. And um, me and JW teamed up and decided to rename it Super Crate Box. And that after six months of hard work and eating noodles, that turned into Super Crate Box, as everybody knows it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's a quite a bit more like riskier to go it on your own instead of joining like a big company. So what was the reasoning behind that? Yeah, so there are a few reasons for that and the most important one for us is just having that creative freedom of making whatever we want to make. Um we do kind of a lot of silly stuff and a lot of stuff we make wouldn't be accepted by any publisher. Um, actually, when we made the original loop browser, for example, which is a pretty basic patch okay, um, in, in the way it looks, but it, it, that's a pretty interesting thing going on there. Um, when we pitched loop browsers, uh, loop browsers, the original loop browser to um, a few flash games, they all said it was too extreme, or too weird, or too different, and they didn't want to take it. So the other thing is, um, the indie scene is a really supportive place with a lot of um, lovely people that just, you know, are trying to help each other. Um, and that is a place that me and JW both feel kind of home at, you know, trying to be cool um, and, and just hearing out about other people's stories about things. Um, so going to see what sort of group does. Um, when we decided to start a company after we were fed up with school, maybe it was the only option we had in a way. We didn't have, we didn't graduate at that point or anything. We didn't have any papers. We just had, you know, the, the com sort of, we felt that we could do this. We felt that we could make games for ourselves and then make a living. So we did. 